here we are at the gateway to India here in Mumbai. What an amazing place this is. Not only is it baking hot today, we're also going to watch some great cricket tomorrow, but I'm excited to explore Mumbai and learn about the geography of this amazing city. So Mumbai. Mumbai is the largest city in India by population, with New Delhi being its capital city. Mumbai has grown naturally over the, over the last hundred years, with natural increase, people having more children, and also rapid rural to urban migration of people moving from rural communities in search of work to cities such as Mumbai. So, Mumbai, it's grown as a small fishing village surrounded by mangrove swamps into this amazing, massive city today, based around this port being on the west coast of India. Here, this port we can see behind us has a very deep harbour, allowing for big shipping containers to come into Mumbai to allow for trade to be done in the city. And interestingly, 25% of India's trade comes in and out of Mumbai. After its independence from the British colonies back in 1947, India started to grow, as did Mumbai, in population size. So during those, those colony periods, the British came over and they started to export cotton from India back to the United Kingdom. After that, they also then started to um, have textile industries, textile factories here in Mumbai. Now that then meant that more people were actually moving from those rural areas in search of work in these factories here in Mumbai. And what that has meant that Mumbai has then started to grow rapidly. Now, after time, those factories started to decline and then Mumbai started to emerge as a global finance hub of the world. And HQs found here in the CBD, you've got Cadbury's India, you've got Volkswagen, you've got Bank of India. They're all found here in Mumbai, in the CBD, where we're standing today. Over time, though, the city has experienced some big, big problems and it started to experience this growth outwards. Now, where we are in the CBD, you've got some of the most expensive flats in India or in the world, uh, where we're staying in Bandra. There's some amazing apartments there, very expensive. You've got Bollywood that's found in that area. Lots of Bollywood stars apparently are staying or live near to where we're staying. But also you've got some immense poverty throughout this area. And here in the CBD, you've got 25,000 people living in the slums to work in these areas. But I mentioned a few seconds ago that it's grown. And there's some challenges is we're standing on a peninsula and Mumbai, it's a very narrow peninsula and they had to grow upwards. That then takes us into our inner suburbs. Our inner suburbs would have been where you'd have our, our cotton mills, where people would have worked there. And it's the home to one of the biggest slums, Daravi, which we'll hopefully be exploring later on in our videos. Beyond that, we've then got our outer suburbs. Now, lots of mega cities in developing emerging countries, and India is an emerging, emerging country, they tend to grow following made transport links. That could be a main road or railway lines. And that has been the case here in Mumbai, where we've got New Mumbai being in the outer suburbs. Now, New Mumbai was built to allow for people to have better quality of life through cheaper land value. This then means that more people decided to move to New Mumbai, but also because the land value is much cheaper, factories that are based here in the, in the CBD or in the inner suburbs have then actually moved to New Mumbai because of those cheap land values. Beyond that, we've then got our rural urban fringe. Now, it's very hard to actually know where the rural urban fringe is because of the rapid growth of Mumbai. So it started to engulf lots of towns, lots of villages outside of Mumbai, meaning that you've got this big conurbation, you've got about 22 million people living in this whole area, making it very densely populated, but also interestingly, meaning that you can't actually see that clear divide of the rural urban fringe. On top of that, this whole growth of the city has started to engulf one of the world's biggest national parks that's found inside a city. And that is 100 square kilometers, and it's an amazing environmental location where you've got lots of wild animals, tigers, what have you, living there. But also it's built up on a much higher area, meaning that you couldn't have homes growing there, allowing it to stay as a national park. So I'm really excited to now explore Mumbai and start to learn about its challenges, but also where people have created opportunities in this amazing city. Some great geography in action.